Okay, well, we have a box to undo. I've just realised before I start this video, of course, there is the, you know, um, evidence on here of, um, which means nothing, but I do have a name on there. So let me just take this name off so that legally we don't um, cross any boundaries. Um, although I think he should be named and shamed, um, I'm not going to be taking a chance. Okay, uh, this is just, we're just getting the um, box open and we'll um, pull the uh, speakers out first and um, as you can see, look, we intended to send it back to him completely. We had all other covers over the top of all this and um, so we were doing our best for due diligence to make sure that it arrived back to him in the condition that he'd sent it to us um, from Coroit in um, Victoria, which apparently is over near, well, not quite near Warrnambool, but that's Warrnambool's probably the closest, largest spot, so uh, apparently he's a huge antique dealer in Coirite, made millions um, from what everybody's saying, but um, couldn't make enough to send me a radio that works, so we'll be fixing this one on um, on video, you'll be able to pick it up on my YouTube channel and also on, um, on the VK Ham Parts and Classifieds and uh, a lot of people are um, resharing a lot of my videos into other groups as well, so um, I have no control over that as to um, where they put them. But I'm quite happy if you know you certainly have my permission to do whatever you want with any of my videos. If it helps someone to learn how to fix a radio, where um, that's what we're trying to do. Okay, let me just um, get some bubble wrap off and all the foam, and I pack this pretty securely, so this is going to take a few minutes. So one of the first things you notice is the uh, genuine. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I just got a thing that said, can you send me this jerk's name? Uh, this is from a mate of mine up in uh, Young, and um, he doesn't muck around, I can tell you. Anyway, um, here we have, uh, we buy these microphones out of, um, uh, out of China for about four bucks. So he couldn't even give me um, a microphone for radio for 450 bucks, he couldn't give me a uh, president microphone to suit it. I get some shitbox one that just, oh, unbelievable. So that'll go into, not necessarily the bin, but uh, certainly not with, you know, it can go with an old AM set or something, because that's all it's worth, um, you know. And um, this, um, this speaker here, um, one of the things to um, really note on it is this brilliant bloody paint job. Um, now, I don't know how much you guys have to do with paint, but um, for two original speakers, um, this one, um, and, and probably if I run them side by side, oh, let's have a look here. Two original, beautiful speakers, side by side. So one is sporting what would have been the original finish um, on the um, there, but they've decided to drill holes through that one because um, that's you know just what you do. But then compared to this very strange um, $3 can of Bunnings paint, and then basically, um, you know, this this is the, I mean, I don't know what your expectations of a $450 radio is, but uh, mine are a little higher, and maybe I'm just being too picky, I don't know, but um, then I find out, one of the speakers doesn't actually even bloody work. <laughs> so it just gets better and better. All right, well, I'll take a break from that. They're going to call me in on the net pretty soon, and I'm going to, I'm going to start talking on the net a little bit about this because I have a bunch of, um, you know, we estimate there's probably 100 to 200 people listening to this net every morning, and we're on 10 a.m. at 7095, get it right? Um, uh, so if you're watching this video and you don't have a net to go to, on a on a morning, any morning, uh, you um, sorry, I was just wiping off all the foam off the thing, off, off my um, <laughs> pants. Uh, Seven zero nine five Ron VK three Alpha Romeo Hotel. No, that's wrong. Amateur ham radio VK three Alpha Hotel radio. I'm just getting my voice back today. Actually, I think I'm on the way back up with this flu thing, which is thank God for that. They're trying some new antibiotics. Um, yeah, so all welcome on the net at VK3 AHR, Amateur Ham Radio Net, 10am, 7095 um, 
plus or minus QRM, but generally 7095 has been it. Okay, so uh, dense and basically um, um, paint. Um, uh, original sort of... Um, you know what, I could clean this speaker up with some of the products we've got, this back part of the speaker, without the two holes, um, and what we've got to do is we've actually got to uh, just, um, uh, we'll probably just um, tig those in, and then have to redo, we're going to have to do them both in what we call a, a VHT paint, um, and they're both going to be have to be rubbed right back down to bare metal, uh, I'll sandblast, I've got, actually, I've got a sandblaster here, so I'll sandblast all that. What I can't fix, um, unfortunately, um, some of these bits here are very, very difficult to um, to find ways to fix. Um, sometimes we've had to actually produce uh, from here to here, um, like a continuation of the black outline, um, to um, try and um, and of course, if we do that to one, we've got to do to the other which is pretty disgusting anyway because we're going to have to fill here he's got a massive gouge in there so we can we can do these things um but you know it would have been nice to have known uh so that's that's the state of the speakers as i said one's not working um have a look at the back of the connection here um and um this this is and you wonder why you know things have got problems it's just unbelievable um these this is the difference between, no offence, and please don't take this the wrong way um, if you're a CB radio operator, but, oh, I'll go to the top. Most um, amateurs have had some sort of technical experience. Most CB radio operators, um, not all, some are very good, um, but have not. And when we get to this radio, um, we will do that. Now, look, I'm just going back to over here. He's going to, he's going to call me in, so I had better um, put this on pause. <laughs> that's that's the 7095 net, just for your information. Okay, I'll just turn off just for a sec. Okay, so this is just a very rough look. As you can see, a very weathered rear end, which has been, you know, like salt, you almost in there. We'll need to um, have a look at what we do with the surface of this. It's not great. Um, one of the things becomes obvious when you sort of look through inside. Um, don't expect the um, um, <laughs> the um, uh, 240 volts to work because it won't. I'll guarantee you. Um, it's um, um, not going to uh, not going to happen. And here. Have a look at this. Now, um, I'll put up a comparison photo of what this should look like because you can see someone's just shoved a hole and a frequency counter into there and basically taken out the one, two, three, four uh, position switch, which was for the alarm and etc. Because they used to have a beautiful, sw um, uh, sorry, they used to have beautiful uh, clock in these. Of which then you had your, you know, channel doll, etc. And blah, blah, blah. Uh, but, um, read the fine print. I'll tell you what, I like that one. <laughs> yeah. um, as you can see, it's very, very marked up. I mean, look, this is just not a nice, nice radio. I mean, we're going to have to do, pull out some very magic, magic things to um, make this one come to life it, it's just um now i might stop this video here now because um we'll get this one up so that you've got a real good idea of just exactly how bad a president madison can get um we will turn this into something and um, um some of it's going to be getting the knobs and dials and bits and pieces getting the clock module getting rid of the stupid frequency counter idea getting rid of every extra channel that's in this thing acma should have this guy down in koi uh, um with a uh, a notice uh, served on him um, i'm happy to give you uh, acma a printout of exactly what this radio does under dummy load um, let me just turn this down just a little bit sorry um, um i'm happy to give acma a um 
a full breakdown of what was received in the mail. Um, and if anybody knows me well enough, they know that I do not muck around. I, I convert radios back to standard. Um, we remove digi scans. We take out these frequency counters and these. I don't mind the counter. It's not you know if this counter went from zero to forty. Um, but uh, let me tell you, the counter doesn't even work. Um, that's the next thing. It doesn't transmit um, on sideband. That's another thing. It's got very minimal carrier, maybe a watt out on um, AM, maybe a watt, half a watt, somewhere around there. Uh, so um, we'll get into that more in the next video, but uh, this is just the outsides. Uh, we've now got to go in and have a bit of a look. So that's a bit of a start to this mess, and um, still not 100% sure how we're going to make this section look good. We're going to really need some help from some of our US partners to... Um, to try and get this thing sort of looking reasonably good uh, so we'll do our best and um, hopefully when you finished you uh, when it's finished you'll see um, that one of the things I'm specializing in is is um, bringing back shocking looking radios that just have no appeal to anybody which by the way you know don't seem to be put on um, um, eBay as such and very um, eBay I've had it with um, I'm totally over um, buying radios off e eBay um, I mean it could be argued that you know it would be unusual to see a Madison on VK classifieds I agree um, but um, uh, it also is pointless to pay nearly $500 for one that's so ratchet as this one so um, you know um, so let's see what I can turn it into. I've um, done a few radios lately that have been really surprising and they've, they've turned into um, absolute stunners um, at a cost. I mean, some of them I've put two, 300 bucks into, but it's just what's needed. Okay, 73s, and uh, hopefully for the next video we can go into some of the faults and um, some of the wiring issues internally. Um, I'll even be discovering a few things. Um, anyway, 73s, VK3CM.